Hi guys, welcome to CSCO's Mad Science. Today, we're gonna to be making some ice cream. First thing guys, we're gonna go through our materials for today. The first things we'll need is gonna be one small Ziploc bag and one large Ziploc bag. Freezer bags work best, but I'm using a sandwich bag here. It should work fine. You just wanna make sure that you've got a good seal at the top so none of our ingredients leak together. The next thing we'll be using is about three cups of ice. This is definitely more than three cups, but I thought I'd grab a little extra just to be safe. We also have some kosher salt. This kosher salt is not gonna go on our ice cream. We're gonna use this with the ice to help super cool the cream. If you don't have kosher salt around, you can use general table salt, or you can even probably use like driveway salt, something for de-icing if you really had to. But table salt or kosher salt is gonna work best for you. Half and half cream is what we're gonna be using for our cream. We don't wanna use milk, we don't wanna use whipping cream, anything like that. This is gonna give us the proper consistency. To flavor it, we've got some vanilla extract. My ice cream is gonna be vanilla flavored, but we'll talk in a minute about the other kinds of flavorings you can do here. We're gonna use a little bit of sugar to sweeten it, and it's just plain table sugar, nothing too fancy there. Like I said before, you can use all kinds of flavors with this. I chose to do vanilla because it's nice and simple and it's easier to find vanilla extract. But if you've got some peppermint oil and some chocolate, you can make mint chocolate. If you've got other flavorings that you wanted to experiment to try out, uh, I've seen cinnamon work. There's all kinds of different flavors that you can put into this ice cream. So if you're feeling creative, uh, make your own creation, find your own flavor, and let us know what you created so we can share it with everybody else. The first thing we're going to do to make our ice cream, guys, is we're going to combine all of the ingredients that we're going to eat inside of the small Ziploc bag. If you put it all in the big one, it's going to mix in with the salt and ice and it's going to make your ice cream taste awful. So we don't want to do that. We want to have good tasting ice cream. We're going to take our small Ziploc bag, open it up. The first thing we'll put in is going to be one cup of half and half cream. So we're going to take our cream, we'll just put it into the bag. Be careful here not to make a giant mess like I do. And if you're gonna make a mess, make sure you have nice tablecloths around so it's easier to clean up afterwards. So once we've got our cream in our bag here, the next ingredient is gonna be our vanilla extract. We use half a teaspoon, using one little measuring spoon to get half a teaspoon in there. You can take that, dump it straight into your bag. Once you've added your vanilla extract, we wanna use two tablespoons of plain white sugar. That'll go right in with the rest of the mixture. And once you've done that, you can take your bag and you want to try to get as much of the air out of it as possible. So it's nice and small and then make sure you get a really good seal up at the top. If your seal's not good, when we go to mix it together later, it's all going to spill out inside of the bag. So once all of our ingredients are in there, we can give it a quick shake just to mix it up so we don't have to mix it all together. And that part is ready. So we're going to set that off to the side for right now. Again, be careful with this because if your bag falls over, it falls on the ground, or if that seal opens up, it's going to make a mess everywhere. Now that we have all of our materials put together inside of our smaller Ziploc bag, uh, the next thing we're going to do is fill up our large freezer bag with ice. Uh, you can use ice from the freezer, you can get a bag of ice from the store, you can maybe even use snow or something from outside. Right now it's kind of thawing though, so you might be running out of time. We're gonna use about three cups of ice. I've got a little more here. The more ice you can use, the better. That means the cooler our cream's gonna get, the faster our ice cream's gonna form. Uh, this part, we won't be eating, so you don't have to be so clean with the ice. Once we've got a good solid amount of ice in our bag, with enough room to be able to fit the smaller bag in and move that ice all around it, we're gonna take our table salt and maybe our kosher salt. I'll throw an extra. So the next thing we've got is a third of a cup of kosher salt. Like I said before, you can use table salt or any other form of salt. Uh, again, we're not going to be eating it, so it's not as important to be kitchen quality. We're going to take all of our third of a cup of salt, put it right onto our ice. The more you can sprinkle it out and get it all over the ice, the better it will be. The salt will then react with the ice, creating a bit of a mini super cooling effect within our bag, which is going to help our ice cream to form. So once we've got our salt, our ice in the big bag, all of our ingredients in the smaller bag, we're gonna take the smaller bag with a good seal. You can see I'm double checking 
to make sure it's sealed up because if it's open, it's gonna spill inside of our salty ice and that's not gonna be any good. We'll put that inside of the bag and make sure again, a good seal on the freezer bag here. This bag is okay to have a bit of air and it gives you some room to move your ice around. Once all of our ingredients have been combined into this bag, this is where the fun starts. We're gonna just shake it all around. And we're gonna keep shaking it until you get an ice cream formed inside of this bag here, okay? So while you're shaking guys, make sure you take breaks because sometimes this bag's a little heavy, your arms get a little tired. You can also see my hands are turning quite red because when we're super cooling the cream in the bag, it's also really cold in our fingers. So if you need to take a break, warm up your hands, blow on them, get them nice and warm, that'll make it a little easier for you to keep shaking. All right guys, that's been about 10 minutes of shaking. Let's open it up and see how it went. So when you're bringing it out, make sure you still got a good seal there. We want to double check. We can see here, our bag did not open up during the shaking, which is good. That means we don't have salty ice cream. You can see that the ice or the cream in the bag has become ice cream now. It's nice and solid. You can feel it. It feels like ice cream. That's how you'll know it'll be done. Uh, so, we might as well open it up and see how it went. Let me just kind of get it back from the top of the bag here. It's perfect. You can see that we've made some really good vanilla ice cream. All that's left to do now, guys, is to grab a spoon, maybe grab a bowl if you're feeling fancy, sit down and enjoy our ice cream. Not bad, it's pretty tasty. I got a little bit of salt water on my finger though from the bag and that made it taste a little bad. I should probably grab a spoon. Well guys, now that I've taken my ice cream and put it in a bowl, I went ahead and found some sprinkles in the kitchen. I'm gonna spice it up. You don't have to use sprinkles or chocolate sauce like I'm gonna use. You could use real fruit if you want it to be a little healthier. Maybe you've made a chocolate ice cream. You could throw some chocolate chips. It's really up to you. You can be creative and make your own sundae. So I'll take my sprinkles, get them all over top here, and then a little bit of chocolate syrup, and we'll be looking good to go. And here we have our finished science ice cream. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, send us your creative responses to this, and I hope you guys enjoy your quarantine. We have all of our ice. The next ingredient we're going to be using is our kosher salt or table salt if that's all you have. Uh, sorry, man. 